What may look like chaos breaking out is actually just a simulated riot. This is the final day of training in the Afghan National Police 101 Quick Reaction Force Mentor Training Program. With the 508th Military Police Company playing the role of angry protesters, the Afghan QRF team is put to the test on everything they have learned. In the beginning, we didn't know all the technical things they taught us, but after two months, we learned so much. I'm now confident that if coalition forces leave Afghanistan in 2014, we can take charge. The Afghan QRF team plays a large role in the security of Afghanistan's capital of Kabul. They do everything from riot control and first aid to IED awareness and handling hostage situations. Specialist Vincent Rodriguez is leading the QRF mentoring program. Rodriguez says while conducting the training, there are some key things the mentors look for. On the first aid, they, were, they did a lot of verbal. So this time we wanted to see if they were, could do it more with hand signals and uh, more tactically and a little bit more quieter, which they did perform and it came out pretty good. Before this program started, we went to other trains that weren't as effective. Now we have learned enough good tactics that if something happened, like a terrorist holding someone hostage in a building, without any guidance from coalition forces, we can clear the area. We are fully professional after all of this valuable training. With the training coming to an end and graduation around the corner, it's not only a special feeling for the more skilled Afghan police officers, but their mentors as well. Great job. It was an amazing moment, actually, uh, to see something that you've been working for so long. And eight weeks went by real quick, but to see how they went, it was, very, it was a good moment, very proud moment for us. Like, we're parents letting them go. After about two months of training, the QRF mentoring program ends with a graduation on a Saturday and then picks back up the following day with a new group. The one thing everyone involved with the mentoring program is confident of is that the Afghan QRF team is better prepared for any situation they may face. Airman First Class Kellen Carr, Kabul, Afghanistan.